thank God that wasn't yeah, part yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah. That's our new fade out music for the logo. Pretty good, very eighties, very like That's full house. Yeah. You know, switching yeah, like not full house. I don't want No, I think house. it's full house. Let no. me paint a picture for no. you. Let me paint a picture for you. Uh what's the middle one's name? Jimmy. No, what's the middle sister? Leslie. No, it's DJ Michelle Stephanie. Stephanie what's and the, older the dog, DJ. Oh. What's the baby sister? Michelle. Stephanie's the middle. So, so they. So wait a minute. So the the Olsen twins both played the same character. Yeah. Nice. They tip. They do that a lot with, like, when kids are acting. Do you know why? Because they, because labor laws for like the hours that they can work, so they can keep filming. One kid goes to school, or you know whatever, and the other one can be on, on the set. So they just swap them out. They like just because like, they're expendable to the industry, man. Yeah. They chew you up. Whoa. They spit you out. Just get your. Just get your house in order. Anyways, it's not a home, Andy. But it could be. Yeah. All it needs is two wacky uncles, a golden retriever, and a, a crazy neighbor, and you got yourself. I got good memories that last neighbors? a lifetime. Uh, yes, actually, you know, I share my driveway Ooh, with one I of them. I didn't know that. Yeah, and the people I share the driveway with are really cool. I don't know the people on the other side. <sighs> What, you think there's trouble? We have a contract. It's all... What's the contract say? The contract says that if there's ever... you know, Whose needs... driveway is it? Did they sign into your contract or did you sign into their contract? Neither of us. This is old. This contract old goes money? back. This Who goes owns? back. Where's this the is property like... line? Right down the middle of the driveway? Yeah. This is like Hatfield's exact middle? McCoy's stuff. Have you stuff. had a survey? Yeah. It's all, on, it's all in the contract. like that at all i don't mind it it's a big driveway how many cars wide is it uh probably just two i guess so you got a park behind oh no it's like it's a it's a big driveway no i know but like you and your wife have one side they have the other so you are always parking behind like the entrance maybe only two cars can fit at like the entrance part but then it expands at the end so, so it's four, basically you like you get four cars there oh you can fit probably five cars across <sighs> we get a, we can get another car yeah i would say so wow fit a lot of cars across that big old driveway all right but what's important it's... is that we're here together you got another cool hat are you getting all these from work no they're really are you, you... buying them no some of them were gifts okay nice which one was cool the other day oh melon that one i bought yeah. Dude, yeah, melon hats. I don't know. Anyway, next. Okay, I think you're <laughs> gonna think this is dumb, but I'm something in. I've been thinking about. Yep. Is that? That's so stupid. <laughs> I can read minds. Don't forget. So I already knew what you were gonna say. But well, tee you it know, up for the people listening. I think there's a lot of stuff that like is wrong with the world right now. You know yep. that people like aren't into. But one thing that I think we've really, what it seems to me. That we've really conquered a technological hurdle is like uh, things getting caught in vending machines. You know how you use a vending machine, like let's say you get a candy bar and then Mm -hmm. it gets like stuck? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that happen since I was a little kid. Oh, dude, it happens all the time. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. They're used to, well, they got rid of the vending machine at my office, but it used to happen all the time. That's probably an old model, though. I think the new vending machines. Well, we've okay, so fixed. so, th- yes, but not everywhere has new vending machines. Yeah, this but is I'm the talking first world like, problem you're talking about here. Yeah, our office went away from vending machines completely. They brought in a little. There's a service. I'm not gonna no free ads, but there's a company. I think they're local, and they pretty much just run like mini markets. They just bring in a bunch of big fridges and a little register that you pay your yourself, and they come every morning and they refill it with. Breakfast no sandwiches, like fre- like sandwiches, Jesus. and then they have a freezer section too that's got like personal DiGiorno's and little like you know like uh, PDs, uh, Stouffer's, like microwave meals and some hot pockets. They got ice cream sandwiches in there. I've never had one, but one day it'll come in handy. And then they also got like a beverage one. And then in front of it, they have a rack, a Seven Eleven style rack that's just chips candy dry cereals here's my biggest bone with it will you and turn actually, my headphones on a little bit please Emily, before listening, this, this starts if they're listening here's my biggest problem with it thank you the top shelf of the rack top shelf if you're 
Back is to the fridges. So fridges are where Emily are. Table is the rack. You are the cafeteria, or so we'll say. Top left of the rack, all little snack containers of cereal. You know what I mean? Like the little plastic container yep. with a single serving of cereal. Mm-hmm. They don't sell milk in the beverage <laughs> area. So for a while, I went on a cereal kick, and I was buying a gallon, and I was leaving it in the work fridge, so I had my own milk. Or if like I was out of the gallon, I had milk at home, I'd fill up a, a, a vas, a, a, a thermos yeah. with some milk, fill it up to the top, like full thermos, use half of it one day, half it the next day. Wow. The, you've got corporate America figured out, brother. Here's, here's it's not the problem, you. Like, it's I want to say to them, like, you're hurting your own sales. If you had milk in there, people would buy the milk. Nobody's buying the cereal. Are you sure? Yes. Because I was the only person buying the cereal. Because, like, I could I could count. Because, like, obviously the fresh food, like, so they, dude, I mean, they got some good food. They'll have some pasta in there sometimes. They always have, like, turkey on a Kaiser roll, ham on a Kaiser roll. Like, th- those two are standard. They got Uncrustables. Yeah. Hell yeah. And then they'll have, like, a few other options. They usually have, like, a breakfast option, too, or one or two breakfast options. Breakfast on And then they'll have, like, some, like, second-tier sandwiches or wraps. They'll have, like, a Southwest chicken wrap, which I, I frequent, like, if I'm, you know, having a busy day. Um, and then they'll have, like, a deluxe uh, menu item in there. And, like, they don't replace it every day, obviously. Like, they'll bring new things. They'll add, you know, things that are sold out and stuff like that. So they're there every day, I think. But they don't replace, like, so, you know, you, you got to check, you know. You want to get the food on the first day, it's there. You might not want to get it on the third day or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But the cereal doesn't change. When I was eating the cereal for breakfast, like they don't replace the the non-perishables every day mm. or the less perishables. They leave those <laughs> there for a while. And uh, like there would be three three little containers of uh, Raisin Bran Crunch there on a Monday. Tuesday, there would be two. Wednesday, there would be one. <laughs> Thursday, I would pray they'd reload them. If they didn't, I was going Honey Nut Cheerios. Nice. Damn, Honey Nut Cheerios is a classic for sure. I love Honey Nut it's Cheerios. It's very good. Heart healthy. We should do Raisin Bran Crunch versus something sometime. Because I'm a regular Captain. Raisin Bran man. Over Crunch. I don't think I've ever had the Crunch, actually, Dude. so I don't know. But the Crunch is it's like Honey Bunches of Oats that thrown in there, right? Isn't that what it is? It's similar. Okay. It's similar. The The thing about Raisin Bran Crunch is there is a there's a there's a slight candy coating on all of it, so it does like the second it hits the milk, the candy coating is gone, but it sweetens the milk, so you get the elusiveness or you get the. uh, Well, the raisins and regular Raisin Bran have like some sugar on them. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, I just want to make sure you know that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, that yeah, and and I meant Raisin Bran in general. I just want to make sure you know that. And that sweet sweet nectar. Gets into the milk, mm-hmm. and then as you eat it, you know it. Uh, but the crunch is the best because raisin bran gets really soggy really fast. The crunch don't get soggy. The crunch don't get soggy, baby. You try to sog up the crunch, and that was actually going to fail that, every like, time. Honey bunches of oats. I used to be a big honey bunch of oats fan. Oh hell yeah! That woman in those commercials, icon. She did not get paid enough. Don't remember. <sighs> I'm going to look up honey bunch of oats lady actually because that's how good she was. That she deserves her shine. Honey bunch of oats woman. Dude, like this is what I'm talking about. Oh, that woman? Yeah, see, you oh, know her. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. America's grandmother? Yeah. Dude. Was she this Oprah? woman. I bet she was. I don't know. Did you see Scroll a picture down. where it looked like she was on Oprah? Oh, that's Dr. Phil. She was on Dr. <laughs> Phil? Damn. <laughs> I didn't recognize her was at the net. Dude. Holy shit, she was doing it for a long time. Yeah, that's OG. That is that's like that's Urkel. Very, that's, not, that's Urkel. That's just Urkel. <laughs> Lady Urkel. They got Lady Urkel peddling their honey bunches of oats. Damn. She was a real Dude. legend. She was the best. Andy. That would be the greatest Halloween costume of all <laughs> Time, dude. Oh, Have your wife go as a box of honey bunches of oats, honey bunches of oats, and you go as the honey bunches of oats woman. Damn, she used to like say something in the commercials. She had a very memorable line. It wasn't like a slogan or something. I wish I that could remember what it was. That baby. Nope, <laughs> that's definitely not it. That is definitely not it. Let's see if we can find it. 
Oh, she was on St- that Steve Harvey. I got the labels confused. Steve Harvey doing the Lord's work constantly. That man is an entertainer through and through. Uh, Family what's it? Feud. Family Feud. Great he show. had his own talk television show, radio shows. We used to watch. Uh, Incredible. I think I've ta- talked about this before, but when I was in college, good friend of mine, John Haslett, Damn. shout out. Dude, we got to have John Haslett on the program. You ever met John? I don't think so. Fantastic human being. Um, he and I, when we were in college, we would always, you know, be up late. Like we'd have practice and we wouldn't get home till like we wouldn't get home till like midnight. And then we'd stay up late and just sit on the couches. And we had like the game show network and family feud was always on. And we would grind hours of family feud. That's a sometimes good even the price is right. Dude, speaking of two things, now I'm rolling, Andy. Stay with me. Are you okay. locked in? Because you don't Sorry, I was trying. In. I was trying locked to see if the honey bunches of oats woman in. was on locked cameo. I'm Here's locked. I'm locked. <laughs> How I've been rewatching. How I Met Your Mother. Okay. Great show. Sure. And I had it's been just enough time since I really dove into it. Like I think I've thrown it on in the past, but I'm back in on it. Two things. One, I just watched the Bob Barker Price is Right episode. Mm. Fantastic episode. That's a great game show. Two, do you remember the episode? I think it might even be in the first season or it's early season two, but I was going to text you this, but I'm glad I saved it for the show. Lily, Lily's friend asks her to be in a play, and she, she does the play, and she makes the gang go, and it's like the worst play ever. Yes, there. It's like one of those black box theaters, right? One of those little theaters. Yeah, There's not a lot of people. Yeah, I kind of remember that. And um, and they're like uh, then uh, yeah, envy and rage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. And Barney, they all give her a hug, like, great job, Lily. And Barney's like, that was the worst thing I've ever seen. Like, that was horrible. And Barney's like, you're supposed to support your friends, blah, blah, So Barney's like, okay. So Barney throws his own play, and it's like the worst play ever. The first act is like 50 minutes of him with his little square gun behind a box, just shooting Lily in the front row in the face with it. Yeah. And then he would just get up and be like, I have to go refill it. And you just do like a bunch <laughs> of weird shit like that. Um But the point of the story, like Barney's point was like, if you're in a if you're in a play, don't make your friends come see your shitty play. And I was thinking about because I was like, you know what, Andy's plays the exact opposite, very en- en- enjoyable to go see. Yeah, well, if it was bad, I would say not to go. To totally be honest with you, and I have done that before with shows, which stinks. But it's like, what are you gonna do? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like it's nice if you want to come, and I appreciate if you want to just you know be there to support me or whatever. But it's not worth it to <laughs> do that for your day. But obviously, any show that I'm doing with Mike, who directed the last one, that's not going to be the case because he's the man and he knows what's going on. He's got one in the works for next year already. Actually, it's going to be big, Ooh. brother. I'll tell you what. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. We're going to do it right. Block busted. The cans are hurting my my head a little bit today. They're freaking. They're cans. swaying off my balance a little bit. Honestly, maybe today. my neck's just getting weak. It's probably because I have been addicted to the lemon tootsie rolls recently. You that that's not recent. I mean, well, here's okay. So I've always loved them, but now that I know you can order a big box of them on Amazon, I've been eating them constantly. There's a constant shipment of lemon fruit chews being delivered to my front porch every day. You know, I sent you that video yeah. of, with the Batman Our, head. Yeah, Batman. Those were gone so fast, Matthew. Okay. Those were okay. gone so fast. How fast are we talking? How many come in a shipment? It, do, it doesn't say. It's just a big... It's just, <laughs> Matthew. Are you buying them by the pound? No, I have no idea what I... have Large bag? Yeah, so it, it <laughs> they come... <laughs> loose in a ziploc bag and that ziploc bag is just like in a box like what kind of like a gallon ziploc but like what kind like are you buying these from tootsie roll or some man no they're but they're on there you can buy them on amazon it's like i know $8. that's what i'm asking though is tootsie roll selling these for amazon no or it's are you some it's some a, independent like candy? sweet shop yeah gotcha. yeah 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 so some guy's just sorting Tootsie Rolls. Yeah. He's buying mixed flavor Tootsie Rolls. And he's Truthfully, sorting. like Steve Harvey doing the Lord's work, yeah. if he's sorting those Tootsie Rolls. You think I want 
Dude, any of the other kinds? No. I don't I just... dislike lemon fruit chews, but do you want to know what the worst part lemon about fruit lemon juice. fruit chews is? The name? No. What? It's that every time I see a lemon fruit chew, there's a second of excitement where I think it's vanilla. And then I remember vanilla is blue. Yeah, vanilla is blue. I feel like you've talked about this before. And like I'm like, oh, dude, vanilla fruit chew. I haven't seen one of these in front. First of all, vanilla, oh, not fruit, not a fruit chew. And also, disgusting. Why would you be excited well, about such a stupid chew- well, well, flavor? Well, here's the of, thing. I of think tootsie. fruit chews and Tootsie Rolls are two different things, though. It's by the Tootsie Company, though. But, yes, they are different. The you ones you're getting chew. are by the Tootsie Company. Yeah. Those are Tootsie Roll fruit chews. But there's a fruit chew brand, I believe. Like, there's another brand of fruit chew. I'm telling you. Look them up. I don't have to. Andy, I'm, I'm telling, telling you. There's a, there's a third Matthew, party of fruit chew. There's an, it's not... That's not what, even if there is, which I'm sure there's other people making knockoff chews, this is not what you are getting. When you're talking about the blue vanillas, no, it's I Tootsie know, Brand chews. I know, and so are the ones you're buying, but they're a little bit bigger. There's those little small fruits. They're smaller. They look like Tootsie Rolls. They're smaller of so- in size than a regular standard small Tootsie Roll. I don't think so. And I'm claiming to be expert on all things Tootsie. Even though I have no idea what a Tootsie Roll is actually made out of. Okay, you see. I'm you still see, an expert. You see. you see. Keep digging. These are the Tootsie Fruit Chews. Those are the ones you're getting. Right? That picture right there. Yeah, yeah. There is a picture of them, but there's... I, there's, a, there's kind of mm-hmm. Keep digging, brother. No, I'm I'm not digging. I'm looking for a good picture to explain, like what I'm, like uh, it's it's like they're like these ones. They're like these ones. These aren't them though. These aren't the exact ones I'm thinking of. But they're like that. They're smaller. Oh. But they're but those are like those ones are definitely off brand. These ones are a brand. <laughs> and they're just smaller fruit chews. Dude, I've never had a grape. Have you had a grape? I've never even seen a grape. Dude, grape. Holy shit. I, mean, I would dominate Yeah, but they're not in the chew. standard mix box. No, definitely not. Here you go. You got to get the Mega Mix. On Amazon, Mega Mix, eight flavors. I can taste a grapefruit chew just thinking about it. I know, me too. And it sounds delicious. Cherry, orange, lemon, lime, yeah. green apple, vanilla, raspberry, grape. Blue raspberry, sorry. Blue raspberry? Blue raspberry fruit chew. That comes in the Mega Mix. That's dangerous. Folks, don't forget to uh, help support the show. Check out the Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash snackspot. Uh, We've got a lot of episodes up there of the Captions On podcast where Emily, uh, Jake from Scheming and Dreaming, and myself, uh, we're going through all the Disney Channel original movies. Uh, A lot of fun stuff from those episodes. And, of course, the very short-lived Bad Directions podcast, which was a danger to everyone involved and also people who weren't involved. So be sure to check that out. Uh, Hit the link in the episode description. And, of course, the best news is it's only 3 bucks a month, maybe, baby. So uh, check it out again, patreon.com slash snackspot. Folks, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's hot as hell outside. Okay, and it, it's gross, it's humid, it feels bad. You know, it's not that dry kind of heat that feels okay. It feels gross out there, all right? Even if you're just out there walking around doing whatever, it's disgusting, okay? So if somebody asks you to go for a walk, you know, just a light little jog or something, punch them right in the face, okay? Why don't you just chill out, be cool, stay inside, cool down, And uh, the good news is you don't even have to go uh, leave for the grocery store or anything like that because you can use Instacart. And the great news is with Instacart, you can get not just groceries, but some of your favorite products from some of your favorite local stores delivered right to your front door in as little as one hour. All right, and the best part is uh, right now two of the cooler listeners get free delivery on their first order of $10 or more. All you have to do is spend $10. Instacart will deliver whatever it is you're looking for right to your front door. No delivery fee baby okay so stay cool this summer and use instacart 
people another great way to support the show is to actually do something nice for yourself okay i'm gonna do you a favor and tell you about it uh the thing is you can go check out all the great merch we have got at snackspot se slash creator slash teespring.com link's gonna be in this episode description or of course you can head over to teespring check it out for yourself hoodies t-shirts uh bucket hats fanny packs pint glasses mugs slides notebooks all kinds of more stuff i'm sure but it's also the top quality here's what here's the thing okay y- you buy stuff from other shows organizations even causes that you want to support okay and it's like that gildan brand and it just fits like it's made out of wood it's disgusting you can't even wear it and if you wash it it shrinks oh my god i would i would honestly rather uh die by way of suicide than sell that kind of thing let alone wear it um so that's why with our merch okay you're getting top quality materials the t-shirts they're basically like this this i got from target man we're talking target quality okay try blend material again only available at snackspot at the slash creator slash teespring.com we've got stuff up there for schema and dreaming and quested the other two shows that we produce right here as well so again check that out uh, link's going to be in the episode description. Get yourself something nice, something that's going to make you look good, and more importantly, make you feel good. Snackspot, S-E slash creator slash teespring.com. It's a lot of fun to see what podcasting has become. In just a few, you know, just a few short years, the way it's really blown up. And a big part of that is, uh, can be seen with the advertisers that are now moving into the podcast space. McDonald's, State Farm, these massive companies, NASCAR, which is that's crazy. Uh, they're moving into the podcast ad space. You know, these are companies that are doing spots on the Super Bowl. Their ad budgets are huge, you know, stuff like that. And it says a lot. It says a lot that they're moving into the podcasting space. And it's really great to see them, you know, kind of turn away from more traditional media like TV, newspaper, bus ads. I don't know. Uh, the problem is there hasn't really been any room for smaller or even local businesses to get in on this podcast advertising deal to get their piece of the pie but that's what we are here for that's what we're all about so again if you're interested in learning more about all the benefits to podcast advertising reach out to us hit us up at snackspotsports at gmail.com for details on how you can start reaching thousands of listeners in the buffalo area and beyond here's my problem with blue raspberries blue raspberry does isn't a real fruit that doesn't exist right no but if you get something blue raspberry a lot of times it has a picture of a raspberry that's blue on it. Yeah. Matthew. Why are they trying to do this to Matthew, us? Matthew, give me your hand. Don't go down this road, kid. It'll ruin your life. Why? I've seen it happen before. Why? I've seen Matthew. Why are they trying to? Matthew, the blue raspberry, it's it's almost as bad as like the, is a hot so dog a sandwich. I'm so anti-blue raspberry. I, you, uh, what do you mean? You don't like the flavor? Dude, blue raspberry is the a best. A child's flavor. Blue raspberry is a child's flavor, Andy. And it's delicious. I can't argue with that. What's your favorite blue so raspberry sweet. thing? Jolly I'll Rancher. do an Airhead. Jolly Rancher. Airhead for sure, dude. Blue Andy, blue. can I tell you something? Blue raspberry airheads are delicious. I tried to die on this hill for a while, and thankfully somebody put me on a stretcher and carried me off it, and now I'm a happier man. Blue raspberry is the worst Jolly Rancher flavor. Actually, blue raspberry and and, and, app, and green apple. Well, green apple few. for sure. Blue raspberry, though, go on. Because it's probably the most popular one. Recently, I was at a party, took a poll. Blue raspberry was at the top because of everyone's people, list. And I agree. Because people don't really eat enough Jolly Ranchers to realize that it's not the best flavor. And I'll tell you how I know this. Back to being at the office, we went on a Jolly Rancher kick. Okay? So... They were they when they started selling Jolly Ranchers at the market when the market opened they were selling the bags of Jolly Ranchers, so we take turns. I had a big bowl of Jolly Ranchers on my desk. People would come by, boom, 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 boom. If you if you if I didn't have a flavor and somebody else had a flavor, we do a little swapski. Watermelon and I don't like really watermelon flavored stuff often. Watermelon is the superior Jolly Rancher, followed closely by cherry. Maybe even grape jumps cherry. I like the grape. Blue raspberry and sour apple are the two bottom flavors. I would never have thought that until I became truly passionate about Jolly Ranchers. I've since weaned myself off them because similar to you in your Tootsie Roll situation. It's a problem. I was eating like five to ten Jolly Ranchers a day, and that's just not sustainable. Yeah. 
So I've weaned myself off them. But in that process, I had a lot of time to sit there and think about Jolly Ranchers. The blue ones are just too... They are, but that's kind of that's what you like a little bit about them. Dude, They've got a little the, bit of the bite. watermelon. They fight ones back. Are almost refreshing. You put a blue jolly rancher in your mouth. The first oh. thing you have to do after it's done is brush your teeth, because it's just everywhere. God, this is hurting me physically in a way I didn't think possible. Because you're not a watermelon flavor I guy. I hate wa- the artificial watermelon flavor of When's gum the last time you of the jolly ranchers. Jolly rancher. It doesn't matter. The smell gets me. There's a new... Well, I'm sure there's multiple, but there is a new flavor of Jolly Rancher, it hurts. too. It hurts bad. I haven't tried it yet, because you got to buy a special pack. Peach. Look at my... Sorry. I... Wow. I literally just heard the Trumpets of Angels play. <laughs> Look that, Wow. Holy shit. I guess I don't know how new it is, but I just saw it for the first time a few... Dude, like, you are just so bad Matthew. at typing. Peach Jolly Ranchers near me. Ooh, it's a tropical pack. Ooh. I always hate when they do that. I'll just look at some images. Okay. Yeah, they just got a bunch of... Yeah, there you go. I don't know. <laughs> look at that. Jolly Rancher Peach. Wow. Fruity Bash. What's in... Fr- Dude, that looks like pineapple. Click Fruity Bash for me. Oh, yeah. There's clearly a pineapple. You can't have a Fruity Bash without inviting pineapple, but is dude. It, but there's also a lemon on the container, and there's only three Johnny Ranchers listed. Maybe they're bashed. Tropical. Oh, yeah. It looks like strawberry strawberry pineapple cookies. How about you eat my butt? Wow. Lemon? What's the one below lemon? That just says hard candy. Strawberry. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. So that, I, I assume that's pineapple, though. Clear lemon, peach, First strawberry, all, pineapple, things, and orange. I cannot believe I've never seen somebody use the zoom feature on like a website. Yeah, like to hover over a picture as successful as you just did that. It was clear as day, it was a crystal clear image. I have other see, maybe I can't type the way you want, but I have other skills. My boy can zoom. I can zoom, he can't type, but he can I zoom. I can zoom with the best of them, brother. I'll tell you what. God damn. Yeah, I might have to get my hands on some of these peach Jolly Ranchers. But, dude, you know, I'll tell you, when you just said you ate, like, at your at your peak worst, you were eating 10 to, like, 11 Jolly Ranchers a day. If I'm talking fruit chews, I'm fruit having... Fruit chews are totally different, okay, though. Okay, Because you're God. chewing them. Jolly yeah. Ranchers, you got to suck on. That's true. It takes a while. Because yeah. fruit chews per day, dude, if I'm, if I'm having a day, if I decide to pull that cord, I'm eating... Let me think. That's well, right there. You got. I mean, like twenty four a day. Well, that's not that bad. I thought you were gonna say around fifty, and I was gonna say that's a lot. I probably had. I probably had fifty days. No, there's no way. That's yeah, so dude, many, but it, it's possible. Yeah. Though it's possible that I'm just not counting. I, I may question, have eaten fifty in a day. I have a question that I think everybody's wondering, but nobody wants to hear the answer to. Oh no! How has this affected your digestive system? I feel great. I'm just kidding, man. You gotta help me. You gotta get me out of here. <laughs> like, I've been having good poops. Are are they like coming out the consistency of a fruit chew? Because <laughs> that's what I imagine would happen. Like, you know how people do the corn? Well, I don't know if people have actually done it, but they say like the corn challenge: eat only corn until your shit is just corn. Have you ever heard oh, about this? No, I've never heard about oh, that. That's a thing. That's it, was, it was a thing on the internet. I think somebody got really sick from it, and I think. Yeah, I'm sure, but I like, mean, if my you poops... were to eat only. Tootsie Rolls, would you just effectively be like you just become shitting a, out t- Tootsie Rolls? You just become really a, human, a human Play-Doh factory. Yeah. That hasn't happened to me yet. But my poops are... Honestly, I think they're firming up my poops, if anything. It's like it's like yeah, You don't want too firm. No, but they're not too firm. They're Much <laughs> okay. like the fruit chew itself. It's I just right, baby. You brought it up. I know. It's soft. It's and soft and malleable. Remember what I said when I brought it up? Just like my poops. Remember what I said when I brought it up? I'm just letting you know. You asked. I'm letting you know. It's my job to be honest. Are here. fruit in the technical definition? Yes, but is a fruit chew really malleable? You can't sculpt a fruit chew. You'd have to warm it up. A fruit chew straight out of the box. <laughs> Wait until you, if I don't know if Pinterest or Tumblr is like still around. I'm about to be Tumblr in my fruit chew sculptures. I'm gonna be making Griffins. You're making I'm gonna be making sculptures. I'm about to. I'm well, gonna but, start but that's fantasy not what I'm saying. fruit chew sculptures. If you were to, if you get them to the right temperature, yeah. they're definitely malleable. But just a straight 
room temperature fruit chew boom it's are they more malleable than tootsie rolls uh tootsie yes roll, I, in my experience yes i wouldn't say a, a Again, in the, in the definition of the word, a Tootsie Roll is probably malleable. But I'm telling not. you, I'll bring I'll bring some next time. I'll order a bonus box, and then we'll do some sculptures Dude, of it. I, would I will love actually. to make a fruit juice sculpture. That's what we'll do. I'll get them so that they come like they're, they'll be fresh like, by the time love, I bring them here. Yeah, well, that's we'll what We'll do I a little fruit juice sculpting contest. Like you got to have a fresh fruit juice. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Real warm. Don't to worry. To be able to sculpt it up. Let's see. Um, but my big thing that I've been kind of afraid to look up is like um, – what are fruit chews? What are Tootsie Rolls? Because they don't identify as a taffy. So that was my... I was like, this is some kind of like taffy candy or whatever. But in my Googling, to, the Tootsie Rolls said it's not a taffy. They don't self-identify as a taffy. It's oh, syrup me. or sugar. Yeah. Ingredient number one, <laughs> sugar, corn syrup, palm oil, condensed skim milk, whey. Oh, so you're getting protein. Malic acid, artificial and natural flavors, soy l- l- lecithin, oh, artificial yeah. colors, depending on including, dude, this is where you're going to be a problem. FD&C, yellow 5, red 40, and blue 1. I'm pretty sure yellow 5 and red 40 are just instant death. When uh-huh. you oh, body. yeah, red. Dip. And I would guarantee you that the lemon fruit chew is loaded to the gills with yellow 5. It's mostly yellow 5. You're better off smoking a pack a day, my guy. No, it's the least amount yellow five. That's the last ingredient. Oh, I'm telling you, they they fucking pull it in there. I'm telling you, there's a lot. Of you can't hide five. it from me. What is like? What is yellow five? Like, is it just a liquid that dyes stuff yellow? It's Google, some kind. What of, is yellow five? Matthew, look like? I don't want to know. I want to know what yellow five looks like. This is bad news, dude. Yellow five. What does it look like? There it is. It's a powder. Yeah. Oh. That cannot be good for you, dude. I'm is gonna get to the five point. Bad for you. Click that, Andy. This is Matthew. like this is like showing a smoker a commercial of the guy with the. Yeah. If you want to see your kids grow up, stop eating lemon fruit juice. Yeah. I was the prom queen. Short answer with so many risks and few, if any, but yellow five is best to avoid. All right, don't read it. Anymore. Well, cancer. Great, great F. Ooh. I don't care. I'll snort that whole fucking pile right there. <laughs> somebody give me somebody give me a ten dollar bill. Yeah, yeah. Line me up some some lemon fruit chew. Somebody give me a lemon fruit chew wrapper. Oh my god, that's like the sickest addict thing I can think of. <laughs> it's like Ripping making lines a straw of out five of with a with a snorting straw. That oh is my a fruit god. chew wrapper. It's like using a straw made out of cocaine. <laughs> Ooh, that's brutal. Oh, dude, I bet you not I, a drug I'd guy. Lick that right up, but I, but but I'm a but I but I'll do a little yellow no, five if we're all doing it. Like I'm see, not into drugs, but I'll do some yellow. Here's five. a better example. This probably already exists. Okay. Like, make a uh, start a marijuana like uh, paraphernalia company and make like a weed paper out of weed. Yeah, well, yeah, actually, you can get so uh, that when you're smoke, so that when people are smoking weed, they're smoking they're out smoking of weed. weed. Oh yeah, that does exist, and uh, you can get like weed cigars as well. So you know that, which is basically what you're talking about, because you know cigars you use the tobacco leaves, weed cigars you use the boom. I never put that together. It's just yeah. a cigar. Yep, exactly. Well, now I'm an idiot. No, you're just. Take well, a long the way pre- around to the, get the to something that The way that I got exists. there was you said a straw made out of cocaine. Yes. And I was like, I'm a big, I'm, I'm a big like cocaine's bad for you advocate, <laughs> as I think yeah. most people are. But you've got to disclose. Well, most well, people we're, we're sitting here having a conversation about drugs. So, I mean, the people outside, yeah. you got that, they got cocaine straws but, on them. But, like, then I was like, dude, but, like, if cocaine was a legal thing, that's a really smart business idea. That's a, I don't know. So about that. in turn, that's where I got to. No, we we paper. We can all map weed. that. We can all map yeah. that out pretty easily. Uh, Swift, you know, let's switch gears to something. Have you been watching the Olympics at all? Not a single lick, and I'm kind of bummed about it because, dude, somebody said it the best the other day. Michael Phelps ruined the Olympics for me forever. 
Go on. Because, like, dude, do you remember Prime Michael Phelps, like, 2008? I'll never forget Like, it. dude, you were dialed. When there was a – you were dialed into every swim race. Like, oh, this is who's in this heat, blah, blah, Like, this guy, Michael – like, what they need to do – like, this was a good example. Well, and it was actually the part of my take, guys. He was like, my problem is, in my head, I still feel like Michael Phelps could jump in that pool and, and, and beat everybody still right now. You know what I mean? Like, Michael Phelps – Watching him swim was such an a, an adrenaline rush and like his whole run that now it's like it's not the same for me. He wanted a you know how they have the line like PR or the the world record line. They wanted like a just a Michael Phelps, a Phelps line. line. Yeah, just a Phelps line. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, man. Nothing will nothing will beat that. I I mean they would show his races in prime time. I remember watching them and then going out to the pool and like learning how Getting to dive by me. Yeah. Not a chance, man. No, I'll still quick. outswim you eight days a week. I'm quick. No matter what. Even though my body is mostly yellow five at this point, I'll fucking fly through the water, dude. <laughs> you and Ryan Lochte both. <laughs> we both pee in every pool we get into. That's all I had for today's episode. That's it? Yeah. I don't remember where we were. Oh, Olympics. Yeah, the Olympics. I would like to, but again, with them being in, in Paris, timing's mm-hmm. a little off for me. Timing's always off, though, you know? And it's just like, uh, I mean, I think it's mainly like I just don't watch regular TV anymore. But, like, I would like like I like I to watch the the U.S. women's soccer team, too. Mm-hmm. But, like, somebody today was like, yeah, there's a game on at 1 o'clock. I'm like, well, it's I'm a, working, it's baby. the middle it's of a working Wednesday. man's world. Yeah, it's the middle okay. of a Wednesday. Nice so for, it's good for you. That. Good yeah. for you if you can watch the soccer. Yeah. Comic Con was this last weekend, so obviously it was a big weekend for me. What Comic Con? The San Diego Comic Con, uh-huh. the biggest one. You weren't there though. No, I've never been. I've actually only ever been to one comic convention in my life. It was in tenth grade, with my good buddy. For you. Uh, no, yeah, I got my I got that ladle out there signed by uh, Larry Thompson, uh, the the soup Nazi, soup Nazi. Yev Kasem. Yev Kasem. <laughs> this is Christian name. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I do want to go to the San Diego one one day. Um, but I, so obviously it was a very big weekend for me, just checking out all the news and stuff like that. And, what's uh, dropping? Yeah, what's dropping? Uh, biggest, of course, everybody's reacting to uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s back. He's playing Doctor Doom yeah. in the MCU now. So it's a multiverse type scenario that that's occurring in, right? It's honestly he's still Tony Stark, but he becomes Doctor Doom. Is that what it's going to be? That's what I I've heard rumblings about. That. That's what the rumblings are. That's what the rumblings are. are. Okay. None of that's officially confirmed. All I know is what happened on that stage, and I'll tell you what happened. They called the character Victor Von Doom, which is Dr. Doom's name. That's obviously not. Tony Stark's got a different name than Victor Von Doom. Those are two different names. And, again, after Deadpool and Wolverine came out, this is not a spoiler for that, but they in that movie they did kind of trash what the the, um, multiverse saga, you know, that Marvel's been trying to push post-Infinity saga right that's like the term for this new phase um and a lot of people have been uh so marvel was trashing itself yeah but that yeah i mean that's 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 deadpool that's 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 why it works so well um i think that they're moving away from that multiverse stuff uh there are comics where a version of tony stark does become dr doom oh really yeah um but I don't think, at least, and I and I kind of hope that he's just going to be a different, different, different guy, character. different character. So maybe and it'll be a, like, and I maybe, have no the, problem with maybe that. it'll be like lore, like deep lore of the movie is not multiverse, but like it's also a little bit of like a tip of the hat to the comic books. You know what I mean? Because in sure. theory, he is Tony Stark. He's be. also and I don't think they have to. You know, because I think a big part of uh, a big part of everybody saying like, "Oh, it's going to be a Tony Stark variant," is you know, obviously it's the same. He's the same actor, mm-hmm. um, but I don't think they have to address it at all, honestly, because that's what acting is, right? No, I don't think they do yeah. have to address. But well, I don't think they have to address it in the movies. I think they should address it, like outside of that like on a podcast or something like whoever you know they should give like a well he should just be like yeah no it's not a multiverse you know what i mean oh yeah i mean that'll that i mean we'll see what ends up happening with it whenever but to again and i don't but i don't think what i said is addressing it though i'm saying like they you know they say it's not a multiverse he is just a new character now Mm -hmm. but 
real fans will know that did happen at one point in time. So it is kind of a tip tip of the cap to the comic books in sure. that sense. I mean, it's all different I, universe and I know, stuff, but but, uh, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, yeah. I hear you. Okay, I actually. I understand what you're saying a little better. Like it has nothing to do with it, each yeah. other, but it's almost like a hey, we know there that is, people there's know that this a did happen. Between these yes, characters. exactly. There's already a connection Word. between these That's characters. Cool. Only the true fans will know it. There's not in this movie, but yeah. again, a little uh, because one of the you know they've done uh, two different like Fantastic Four uh, universes Jim or Halby. whatever. Well, yeah, but that was like that was different. They've done two since then. No, no, they oh. did. They did the original ones. You remember where Chris Evans was, uh, mm-hmm. Human Torch, and then they did another one with Miles Teller and Michael B. Jordan. You remember Michael B. Jordan? Nobody really saw that movie. It did really poorly. Sounds good though. I like Miles Teller and Michael B. Jordan. I know, but that movie, it's it's it had so many problems. Like with the production, it turned into a really bad flick, man. Who was Cap- the first Captain America? Or not Captain America? Cap- Mr. Fantastic? You said some guy. I don't know his name. No, no, no. You just said a name. You just said his name. You said they did this version, and then they did one with Miles They did Teller. the one with Chris Evans. Yeah. He was Human Torch. Yeah. Chris Evans was Human Torch? Yeah. Flame on. Johnny Storm. Was. Chris Evans. John Krasinski. Mr. Stretch? Yes. Mr. That Fantastic. Same one? Mr. No. Fantastic. He was Mr. Fantastic in the Doctor Strange movie, in the multiverse movie. He just had, like, a cameo as him. You're he telling was, me there's not a movie where he is. Yeah, that is what I'm telling you. Well, he's he. There's not a Fantastic Four movie where he plays Mister Fantastic. He shows up as the character Mister Fantastic in that Doctor Strange movie. What Doctor Strange movie? Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness. Oh man! Oh, he's on the panel. He's on the panel. That's right. Damn, dude, my world just got turned upside down. Yeah, you had a real bla- brain blast there. It might have been more Hiroshima than uh, Jimmy Neutron. That's a tough one. Yeah. But anyways, my you point is the problem with those fan, a big problem with both of the Fantastic Four movies that they've done is getting Doctor Doom right. He's been pretty bad in both of those. And Doctor Doom is the best villain maybe in all of comics. He's got a great ride. Yeah, I love that ride at Universal. We got to get back there. But he's cool. So how as long, long as they did, do it right in this. How long do they have the green light to keep that stuff up and running? Because eventually. I don't know, dude. Eventually, I think it, they. It's all. I don't know. It's all, 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 all. Well, whatever. Disney's Marvel Park is open in California, right? Or it's being built? Or they're building. They have a. Orlando? Yeah, there's a, there's a land that's open. Avengers Campus. Yeah. Aren't in California. Are they building one in Orlando soon, though? I think so. Something. Which must mean that. Well, that I think there's period. something in. Look, man, these, I mean, these contracts are complicated, and there's all kinds of weird stuff with them, but the Marvel Superheroes Island that's at Universal Studios Orlando is all old old and themed directly from the 90s comics and 90s animated series that came out of Marvel at the time. So, as long, so I believe there's something where, like, they just can't update their shit or do, obviously, any MCU-related stuff. But there's still a license to use these characters in the way that they're using them right now. Hmm. Something like that. Okay. But eventually eventually, you'd think that Universal just changes that stuff to other stuff. Oh, yeah. Because they're, uh, they're doing – actually, Universal is doing – Well, they're building a new park too. Exactly. They're bu- I mean, they're revamping everything over there. They've, they're, it's like – it's going to be crazy. Universal epic experience or something. So, if, I mean, if it there's works – There's going to be a third – Harry Potter component too, right? Yeah, that's What's right. What's it gonna be? I have no idea. The castle? That'd be Hogsmeade. Cool. Hogsmeade is what's uh No, that's Nah, dude, that's Hogsmeade. You got Diagon Alien, you got Hogsmeade. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, son. They announced it. I know we've looked it up for it. Look it up. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I'm excited, man. I'm jazzed, I'm jazzed, I'm jazzed, I'm jazzed, I'm jazzed. Let's see what People Magazine is. This is oh, Ministry of Magic. That's the what it Ministry is. Ministry of Magic. That's right, and that's actually going to be pretty cool. I think those big, that big, t- 
tall pillared room. Yep, all that big stuff. Cornelius Fudge hanging from the ceiling. Oh, you gotta have Cornelius Fudge. That big brother. picture of him. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Dolores Umbridge. <sighs> Dude, if they have, they should have like a walk through, you know, just like a side thing where it is Dolores Umbridge's office, and then have That's the, the Mad Eye Moody Eye. No, Dolores, because she works for the ministry, man. Oh, her ministry office. Her ministry office. Yeah. They, they don't ever show her ministry office though. In the books, they do. And so you can have that in, in the, the it's in the seventh book. I haven't gotten so, there yet. That's why I won't say anything. Scumbag. Sorry, but that'll be cool. Um, yes. Anyways, also I saw Deadpool and Wolverine twice already. I love that movie. Oh, yeah, I want to see it. It's cool. It's really funny, which is like awesome because I think that's like what's um, getting people to really go to it, which is cool. Are they still dating? Ryan Reynolds and are they married? Ryan Reynolds yeah, they're married. They got a kid, man. Fuck, dude, that's an awesome relationship. Just two handsome it. devils. <laughs> that's true. Very. I mean, it's tough as far as looks go. It's. I think it's impossible to beat that couple. Yeah, they're out there. There's a new Blake Lively movie coming out, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. I don't about know about a book. It is. About what is that? Um, isn't it one of those uh, Colleen Hoover books? Who's Colleen Hoover? Google it. You obviously don't uh, pay enough attention to uh, pop culture, Andrew. Emily, you're familiar? Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know the name of the movie, but... It ends with us. Tell me that's not a Colleen Hoover book. Based on the best-selling phenomenon. By who? Colleen Hoover. What's up, son? That's a weird thing to brag about, I feel like. My girlfriend loves Colleen Hoover. Nice. Read all the books. Wow. So I got that on the docket to see. Dude, the books are, I'm pretty sure, are pretty intense, so... I mean, it looks like it. Blake Lively can do intense Curly hair, pretty Blake well. Blake Lively pissed me off already. <laughs> Straighten that shit out. See, gentle curl, fine. A gentle curl. Like that's fine. Did you see how curly it was? She got permed. It up. was pretty curly. It was Too pretty curly. curly. No, this is a, this is a, this is the gold zone for her. Also, that's where she operates. B- favorite Blake Li- Lively movie? Go. I don't fucking know, dude. I'm a simple favor, dude. The answer is obvious. Okay, she is Sick in that movie, movie. dude. Yeah. Okay, she, then it is that one. And she goes oppo. That's Anna Kendrick. Yeah, that's not what I was going to say, though. Oh. She goes oppo Olsen twins. She plays her own twin. Kind of. <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> okay. She killed her own twin. All right, there you go. But there is a scene where she plays her, but it's like a flashback. Yeah. But, she, yeah, she murdered the shit out of her. Spoiler. Sick movie. Sick movie. Very good thriller. One of the best thrillers that's come out in quite a while, I would say. Um, well, we should probably get into the old who would win. Yeah, we should. I feel like there's something else I wanted to say, but it doesn't matter. Oh, Deadpool Wolverine. It's just awesome. As a comic book fan, there's stuff in there that I never thought we that I would get to see ever. In I a mean, movie, you mean? Like, yeah, like yeah. You're talking about like lore? like uh, Yeah, there's like references. Easter eggs? To, yeah. The, yeah. Easter yeah. eggs. There's, th- there's things that show up on screen. And, and not just, like, for, you know, in the background or something. There's things that happen that it's, like, that's a movie that's made for comic book fans, dude. Still like, man? honestly, I felt Any still man features? Fuck. That was, a, man, it was this close to being a perfect movie. It was that close to being a perfect comic book movie. One day we're going to get Stilts Man. One day Marvel is going to get desperate enough to put Stilts Man on the screen. And I need it. They missed their I chance. The it. perfect time was in um, I think it was Endgame. It. They have Stilt Man come Like, just up. have him, like, kind of in, in the, the background. background. Like, Maybe yeah. he's in there. Nah, he's not. He would have fit right in with this movie, though, actually. Instead of Stan... Because Stan Lee's dead, right? Yeah. So instead of Stan Lee, just start Stan Lee Stilt Man in there. Stilt Man's Have, like, now a kid running Marvel by movie. with, like, a Stilt Man action figure in his hand. That's all you need. Anything. Anything. Just... 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 That's what the fans want. Or they're walking fans past a movie Stilt Man. theater, and it's a Stilt Man And it's poster. a Stilt Man. Something. Anything was Stilt Man. Anything was Stilt Man. The fans we'll don't take want it. Stilt the Man. fans are craving Maybe Stilt Man. You're right, they movie don't movie want him. They're desperate for Stilt Man. All right, a, that was a great who would win. But this week's who would win is Uncle Vernon Dursley versus Uncle Philip Banks. I don't like how I introed that. I'm going to do it again. Yeah, the who would win of the week of this week is Uncle Vernon versus Uncle Phil. Uncle Vernon Dursley from Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Uncle Phil from Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince of Bel-Air. Now... Vernon Dursley. I already know who wins. This he's fight. a brrr, you know, he's a he's a rough and tumble kind of fella. Uncle Phil is going to beat the fuck out of him. this man, dude. Uncle Phil, I hate this term. I hate it. 
And I see it a lot right now because it's NFL preseason, and I feel like NFL players say it a lot, or like people say it a lot to them. Um, Uncle Phil stands on business. Ooh, I like that. I've like never heard he, it before. He, Uncle Phil, speaks softly, carries a big stick. Oh my God! Hustles the people biggest. in pool. All that the biggest. Um, Vernon Dursley is the exact opposite. He's all bark no bite. Big time fraud. <laughs> tries to act like he's got money. Boy's broke. <laughs> Wife's ugly. Kid's a loser. I fucking hate Vernon Dursley. Wife's ugly. Kid's a loser. <laughs> Kid's a loser. I mean, at the end of the day, I think that is going to affect his mental state in this fight. Think about a lot of good points. Uncle Phil, gorgeous wife, multiple. I didn't even know he had multiple. Well, wives. it's just because they like replaced the actress. Gotcha. And that's a big thing with the Fresh Prince. Um, I'm representing. TV fans. A lot of millionaire, billion, maybe because you're self-made, self-made man, self-made. self-made man, and stands on business. He really does. Stands on business. Uncle Vernon is a big fucking bulldog, but he's showing his belly real quick, oh, dude. He's flipping Such around real loser, quick, dude. I you know? would beat the fuck out of Uncle Vernon. Because here's the thing: I would about just hold Uncle a Vernon. stick up in the air like this, and he would shit his pants. Uncle Vernon, hey, Uncle V, you trying to fuck with me? But uh, <laughs> Uncle Vernon, I, I think that this he would be so aggro right up to the point where he and Phil are nose to nose. And you know Phil. He's not blinking. He's not moving. So and Vernon is screaming. His face is getting all red. Spitting, yeah. Phil, might have a jammer. one slap. And Vernon, I mean, I bet she's oh, on his back. Flop, a flop to rival yeah. the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just toast. Yeah. Completely toast. That or he, yeah, self-inflicts a heart attack. That could be. Yeah. That could. I mean, he's his own worst enemy. Yeah. You're talking about, dude, Uncle Vern is made mostly of yellow five, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm glad that we did this fight just to be able to, like, mentally, well, imagine Uncle Vernon getting the shit beat out of him. Because he I'm deserves sure. it. Dude. All right. Well, these are the opposite sides of the same coin. We got a great uncle who, who you know, stands up, does his best to raise the guy. Uh, Will in this case, and we've got the worst uncle of all time, who you know, barely. I mean, they take this kid in, but like barely. I mean, yeah. they they practically don't even raise him. I like disgusting. Uh, we locking that in. It was a quick one, yeah. but I mean, obviously I, it's Uncle Phil. If Dude. anybody votes for Vernon Dursley in the poll, I can't even imagine. I mean, we've only had a couple where like it's a hundred percent win. I don't remember the what they are, but there's I know there's only been two. If this isn't the third one, I mean, I, I can't imagine one person voting for Uncle Vernon. Um, vote on that on Friday on Instagram. Uncle Vernon, Uncle Phil, Uncle Phil, clean sweep. Vote on that on Instagram on Friday. Who would win of the week? Andy, before we close, I had one more thing to say, mm-hmm. and that made me think of it. I'm reading six. I'm back. I'm back. Well, I, I got two days of reading in, and then I've been off the wagon again. But I've been... I want to. I just haven't had time. I'm at the part in six where... Well, I ju- I'm not at the part, but I had read the part in six finally where Dumbledore picks up Harry. Again, this is early in the book. Oh, like yeah. Chapter two. And sits down the Versleys and gives them the whole, like, spiel. Uh-huh. Like, you you guys told me... you Like, I asked you guys to be good to this guy. You guys were not good. You got to come let him stay here one more time. And then the ch- the enchantment is, is lifted and then you're all fucked. So, yeah, that's all I got. Fuck Dumbledore, the Dumbledore, Fuck Dudley Dursley, man, Dudley is the worst. Yeah, it's tough, you know, because he's so why clearly he's the worst. A, yeah, lay it down. Like, there's a lot of bad things about him. Obviously, he isn't in an ideal situation, family-wise. Like, he's got horrible parents, so They're that doesn't help him. Yeah, but the reason that I think he is still the worst and will always be the worst is. That scene, I want to say it's in Prisoner of Azkaban when, before the, is that when the, the Death Eater comes in? Oh, to, no, that's, oh, the Dementor, that's the Dementor, five, yeah. that's five, yeah. What's when that, Order the, of the Phoenix? Yeah, Order of the Phoenix. Um, when they're on the playground, right? Yeah, yeah, and Harry's like, what, you guys are uh, j- um, done beating up five-year-olds or something like that? Or what, are you coming from beating up another five-year-old? And he's like, ha, he deserved it this time. Fucking lose. That's a good Dudley, man. That's a good Dudley phrase. Yeah. 
Yeah, Dudley's all time, probably all time uh, movie bully. He's up there for sure. The guy from Christmas Story, Scud Fargus. One, Scud Fargus one one. Nelson. Nelson one, two. obviously. We did Nelson in uh oh Biff yeah. from Back to the Future. He's an all time bully, but he is a sneaky baby. Well, they're so, all, so they all yeah, they, all, they are, all are, man. Yeah, Biff is up there. I would say those three definitely have to be in your top five. Let's round it out though. We got three. Who else you got? Well, we no, we got four. We got Dudley, Scud Fargus, I don't Nelson. Know if Dudley's Munz. in my top five of bullies. Yeah. Well, Scud Fargus, Nelson, Biff for sure. I'm putting Dudley in my five. I think. Yeah, get without get, a doubt. Who are we missing? Google it. Okay, let's see. Before we end here, no, yeah, yeah, you're Mo- just bad at googling. Yeah, I know. Do it. I'm just gonna do it. Should I put movie? Dude, I don't know what you want from me. I'm not. I ain't. I ain't too good Biff, at much stuff. Regina George. Regina George. Ah, uh, yes. On there. Jimmy Hopkins. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a real thing. Um, Scud Farkas. Nelson. Who is this? This guy looks. Uh, Chet Donnelly from Weird Science. Eh. I mean, honestly, Eric yes, Cartman's but it's on there. No. Dudley Dursley's on here. Mm-hmm. Um, not many other ones that I recognize. Hell yeah, Biff. Yeah, Regina George. I think you got to put in there. So we got Young sp- Biff is on there. Biff, Biff Tannen. Yeah. Oh, Buzz McAllister. Okay. That's the one I need. Like I needed one more. Buzz McAllister. Put Buzz McAllister on my list. Okay. So I don't. Yeah, I'll put Regina George. I don't like that pick, but she is. She is a famous movie bully for sure. So right now, the names we've got on the board. This will probably be the difference between our lists because I've got Biff, Scud Farkas, uh, Regina George, Nelson Muntz, and then we've got Dudley and Buzz. And I, Dudley's probably over Buzz. Dudley I'm putting Dudley over Buzz. over Buzz. Yeah, I I might take <sighs> Buzz. A, if we're talking sixth man though. Buzz is He's the winning guy. Six man Buzz of the year is the sure. guy. Absolutely. Give him that trophy now. Yeah. All right. Andy, I love you. I love you too. Let's get out of here. Thanks, folks. <laughs>